Hi everyone. A few videos ago I did a, a video on how Jesus did tell us as Christians to arm ourselves, to protect ourselves against the criminal element. And I'll leave a link below if you didn't happen to catch that video. Um, today what I wanted to discuss was how I carry concealed. Now again, I do have my um, carry concealed permit and I keep it on the lanyard around my neck so that if I'm out and about somewhere and I, God forbid, I do have to pull my weapon and use it, I can pull the, quickly pull the lanyard out, have it hanging around, and I can just shout, CCW citizen. You know, you always want to make sure people around you know you're one of the good guys because somebody else might be carrying and think that you're a bad guy and it'll become a real bad day. So, um, today what I wanted to talk about was how I carry and, um, I use what's called the urban carry, um, G three holster. Now I've noticed this holster has gotten a bad rap on the internet on a lot of videos. A lot of people don't like it. And I've noticed a lot of people are misusing it. And here's what this is. All it is is just your typical two pieces of leather sewn together. It's got a little play, uh, belt clip here. It's got a strong magnet in here. That magnet connects, uh, keeps it held closed. It's made out of uh, genuine English leather. It's pretty good. And inside this one, the G Gen Generation 3, it has a little clip that clips on to your uh, trigger house. And um, before I do anything else, I'll show you my weapon is unloaded. No clip in it. Clip is gone. Here's the clip, here's the bullet, so I'm not messing with the loaded gun here. The way this works is your gun goes in there, you hear that click? It's locked in to that uh, trigger house, and it's just a little added feature to help keep it when you go to draw, I'll show you in a little bit. Um, why that's important Now the way this is designed you can wear it with a shirt tucked in or hanging out Because um, I got a little bit bigger belly here. I like to wear it hanging out um, But it's designed to you slip it Right inside the belt line. I always like to wear it at what they call the uh, I guess one o'clock <laughs> point right there and that's all that they see okay it it's worn below below the belt line it's designed so it's totally concealed if i'm if i'm in a store and i'm reaching up on a shelf i'm not going to expose the gun it's not going to be visible it's going to be right there below my belt line until i'm ready to draw and then there's my gun so um, the gun goes in there, heard a click, just drops below the belt line, and there it is. Now, the, the bad rap that these get is people don't understand how to wear them, how, how to, to, to pull it. There's two steps to it. Let me uh, just tuck in my shirts so that can show you better how this works there's two steps there's number one you want to break the belt line number two draw the gun now even the manufacturers and I'm, again I'm not uh, I'm not in any way uh, making any money off this I'm not I'm hired by uh, urban carry at all to promote their holster but um, one thing they want you to, they have designed it for, is you're supposed to, with your support hand pull, it's supposed to be a two hand draw, and, and you can see right off the bat, 
I'm having trouble. Well, the reason I'm having trouble is because I've got a little bit of meat around the, the midsection here. <laughs> and it's a little bit more difficult for me. But the other thing is, I, I personally, I like a one-handed draw holster. I don't like, I don't want to have a holster that I have to use both hands. If I'm trying to fend back a, a, an assailant, I want to be able to draw one-handed. What I've discovered is how to use the Urban Carry as a one-handed holster. You don't have to cross, pull, pull up, fight past the belt line, and then draw your weapon. You don't have to do all that. Um, and here's the secret. Okay, so you got it there. You see a threat, okay? I've drawn one-handed, and it wasn't that much slower than a regular side-type holster. And here's the process to draw in this way. When, uh, when you're drawing, you, you want to think of it in two steps. First step is break the belt line. Now, if, you, if you're like me, you're a little bit heavier, you don't just want to try to pull up. It's going to hang up. You're not going to, it's, you're going to be fighting and you're going to be dead before you get your gun drawn. The way to draw is you give it, you see that little shake I did? It's just a real quick little shake. You're helping it to break your belt line. Now, once you get it out, you catch it like a chicken wing <laughs> and you just bring your hand around and you got it just like that it's just real simple action so you got it in there <clears throat> say some guy with a knife is coming at you boom 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 you know you got you taking care of business you got one hand free to defend yourself and the other hand to draw your weapon and plus you have the added convenience of it being totally concealed, nobody would ever know I'm carrying a weapon. Doesn't print, doesn't print on my pants at all. Sits way down there. I carry a full size Glock 22, and with my uh, cell phone and keys in my pocket, you know you don't even, you don't even know that I got a gun down there. Drawing your urban carry holster while seated in your vehicle is a little bit more tricky. There's a little bit more to it, and that's because it does, while you're seated, become a two-handed draw, and there's um, a little extra step you have to take in order to be able to draw your weapon while you're sitting down, but you can do it. And when you sit down in your vehicle and you fasten your seatbelt, you always want to make sure that it sits above your holster draw handle. You don't want it to be down over it or below it. You want it to be above it. And I'll show you why. When you go to draw, you're going to, with your support hand this time, it's going to be a cross draw. You're going to grab the handle, and at the same time, you're grabbing as high on your seat belt as you can. Now, you're going to come down, and at the same time, you're lifting your whole body up, straightening your whole body up. And by pulling your seat belt, that gives you the added space you need to do that. When your hand gets down to here, your strong hand, you help break that uh, gun from your belt line. Then you can come up and draw, and you've got your weapon out. Here's that, how that looks a little bit faster. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a blessed day in Jesus.